Hey guys, the temperatures keep going up and down here, but anyways, it's got a front coming in, but it kind of keeps pushing hot air, colder in. It's kind of warm out here now. Um, but anyways, uh, I was going to mention one thing. I just saw a post that made me think, like, why landscapers stop coming. And it really depends. First off, if you're messing with a bad customer, messy property... That's what I deal with. That's what I deal with with one house, two used to, now it's cleaned up next door. It used to be pretty bad. I, yeah, but still, I mean, man, some people have problems with junk. I mean, they have some problems. They have some major problems. So I have this one property. Let me explain to you. It has this raised beds, and it has two rock beds, probably 50 feet long, 30, maybe, maybe 50 feet long by 30 feet wide, probably a little bit longer. Then they have these three sheds back there full of junk. More flower beds with more rocks and stuff you gotta weed eat. They got bushes along the fences, bunch of trash cans, bunch of pots that you just don't even need like there's at least 30 or 40 probably 50 there's about 50 pots behind there's a picnic table of junk on it between the sheds there's some gardens behind the sheds there's some junk and this last time I was there she just like it was weird you know I talked about this property before is that she didn't want it done and her husband came out and was like yeah I want the yard done because it is bad. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. It was, like I said, it was way past my ankles, about four or five inches. It is crazy. But there's that. Guys, It what, what I'm trying to say here is if you're doing a property with a tough customer or the property's messy. That's what I deal with. It took me about an hour just to do the backyard weed eating it. That's how much junk was back there. There's junk I've fallen on. I've knocked over and it's just a pain. But the reason I keep doing it is because... Well, she's kind of like a little bit like family, but... I'm sorry I'm shaking. I don't know why, but it's kind of cold now, but... It's, um, and I get paid pretty well there, and I don't want to lose a customer like that that pays well, and then if you do something extra, they pay you extra, and they pay you decently. Those are the people you want to keep, even though they may be tough or whatever. You just want to keep them, so. I don't know why my hand's shaking, and I'm shaking, but... Anyways, that is kind of what I was wanting to say is that you should keep the people that pay well, even though if they're tough, messy. But, I mean, obviously if it's way, way, way too messy or they're really tough, you may want to reconsider if you have other properties to replace it. But me right now, I don't have any other properties really to replace it, and she, they pay really well, so I have to, I have to keep going, but... It's sometimes I wonder why I even do that yard because it puts a lot of wear and tear on my equipment because of sometimes how bad the backyard can get with weeds because it's basically weeds and it grows up pretty bad, but yeah. So, anyways. Anyways, yeah, that's that, guys. I'm going to head in but I just kind of wanted to say is that it's uh, one of my least favorite properties to do and here's why but you know still if it pays well you should keep on going but if you have other properties to replace it you can't reconsider but still I don't really like to give up on things and I don't like to give up on things and I just don't like to do that so I just kind of keep going so I give up I feel like I left the customer hanging but sometimes it's better off for you and your equipment but it depends on the situation <laughs> but anyways guys we'll see you guys later bye